Hey, what's up cloud people? Today I want to share about my journey from being in music to the cloud because I get people asking me that all the time, like how did you do it and what advice do you have now? And the way I did it was I continued doing my work as teaching piano and I did free code camp on the side, like four hours a day, um, just sitting in a cafe. And after about nine months of that, I figured, okay, I've gotten to a level that seems to be a bit beyond where others are already getting jobs, according to the Free Code Camp Forum, which by the way, check that out for motivation. I went to that forum, especially the jobs section, every time I was lacking inspiration and motivation to keep studying on my own because it had stories of people getting their first job and so forth. So I knew it was possible. And then I started going to meetups. I was living in Portland, Oregon at the time and just going to all somewhat related meetups, JavaScript, React and DevOps and so forth. And then I found an opportunity to build a full stack app for someone for free. And of course I took it because what better thing did I have to do? And I spent a month building this app. And then I was like, okay, I did this, this is great, but now I need to get paid. And I decided I will go to one coffee informational interview per day until I start getting a paid job. And that's what I did. And on about day four or five of having one informational interview per day, I did get my first job. Shout out to Serverless Guru. Thank you, Ryan Jones. And if you're wondering what is an informational interview, it's basically just asking about the company, about what the job is like. So it's not a formal interview and that's why it's much easier to get. You're, you're just asking someone to tell you about the company, but oftentimes they start asking you a little bit about yourself and uh, one thing leads to the next. Uh, there's some statistic about a lot of jobs not ever being posted and you just talk to people to find out you know maybe they'll create a job opportunity for you which was the case in in my situation and then after about six months of doing that or or more i i had learned a lot more about aws i was doing more certifications and you know I had about five or six AW certifications by then and it was summertime serverless guru was a smaller company at the time so there were less um, customers uh, coming to us in the summer um, and the work was slowing down so uh, by now they're a lot bigger by the way um, they're very cool check them out serverless guru but I was like, okay, I think I'm ready for my next opportunity. And I looked for AWS consulting partners. Uh, there's a whole list, I'll put it in the description. And by the way, disclaimer, I currently work at AWS as a solution architect, but uh, this is my personal channel. So any like advice or opinions here are uh, just my own. And yeah, I went through like the consulting partners um, and looked at which ones were like premier status and hiring with remote positions. And I got a good response from them because of the certifications I had and the couple of projects I had under my belt uh, related to AWS. And then I, yeah, I, I got a job at Smartronics, SMX as it's called now. Um, by the way, check them out too. They usually are hiring. And that was a great experience. I got to work for a bunch of really big famous companies um, and government. 
and learned a lot in the process and I kept studying in my spare time. I didn't stop. I got like all the AWS certifications because why not? And you know, it, I, I find certifications are a good way to structure your learning and also to stand out. Like it, it's a good conversation starter in interviews and so forth. And then finally, I'm, you know, I, I applied to AWS like four times over over the years, like over, over the course of two years, because uh, it's been my dream job for a while. Because, uh, you know, if I'm an AWS specialist, why not work at AWS itself? And uh, eventually um, I built up more expertise, but also, you know, the fourth time trying, you have more practice at the interviewing skills as well. And I got in and I've been working there for nine months, 10 months now. It's been great. And it's just amazing to see how fast it's possible to transition from working as a piano teacher to being a solutions architect at AWS. Um, you know, I made the transition in like 2019 and here we are in 2022. And if you have any questions or comments on how to do this or how you did this, uh, please put that in the comment section. And if uh, this helped, please like and subscribe. And uh, let me know what videos you wanna hear in the future. Thanks for watching.